Hello everyone. It's been a while since I did a, uh, a video on the GTO uh, itself. So I wanted to let you guys know today it's a nice day out. I'm going to pull the GTO outside and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand um, the roof on the GTO because it needs to be repaired, sanded smooth, and then I'm going to etch primer everything. Um, and I wanted to show you the seams uh, where the roof comes together with the A pillar. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different things on the car as I'm doing it, and I'm going to tell you how I'm going to fix that. Um, so let me get started. I'm going to pull the car out and uh, stay tuned. I pulled the car outside. I am going to be using a orbital vertical sander. A DA basically. Um, I have my, it's a Makita, works very well. I've used them in the past. This is my grinder, um, Makita grinder to work in, in like tough areas. And make sure you get in that, that drip rail where you have the seam sealer. Uh, make sure you get all that out of there. That's how I'm going to do it. The other thing is um, there's some areas where the paint is peeling. Um, hopefully the camera's you know, can pick it up. This is all where the paint peeled. The previous owner had duct tape here. I guess he was covering the front end because water was getting in, so he pulled it out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sand everything with 80 grit, get it down to basically the primer, and then I'm gonna hand sand everything um, so I'm not digging into the metal because I don't wanna do that. I just wanna scuff it enough where it's gonna bite for the etching primer that I'm going to put on here. So other than that, uh, we're going to get started. Okay, if you have any questions, please let me know, leave a comment. The other thing is I'm going to be having um, a bunch of videos coming out soon, so make sure you subscribe. the whole steady flow. I gotta change my my uh, sandpaper. I'm using 80 grit because I want it to bite. This is an older one. I just wanted to see how it was gonna do. I'm down to bare metal in some areas. I, I don't know if you could if the camera picks it up but the primer that they used on the car here is actually peeling which um, that's the one of the reasons why I want to remove this paint. Um, the heat will warp the panel, so you just got to minimize the heat. Um, so that's why I'm moving around a lot and it's taking longer and I don't really want to dig in it with like 30 or 40 grit sandpaper. I just want enough bite for the primer to adhere to. But I am going to strip this all down. It's taken forever. Um, okay. If you see right here, the car was only painted one time. But for some reason, this primer, is it flakes off very easily, the, the red primer here. Um, and you could see then there's the white primer that they used underneath the red. And then you could see the Enduro uh, green that's behind there. I don't know if you could see that that well. But anyway, um, this is taking forever. Uh, the really good paint, hard, solid paint. The primer I'm not impressed with. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you this is the progress of the, uh, of the panel. that I It took me about an hour and a half to do all that. So let's continue on and I'll be right back. All right, so far I did half of the roof. And I am going to start doing the other half, but I'm going to come up to, I would say, probably here. So the sanding 
the roof. And I wanted to show you, I don't know if the camera could pick it up. You see this streak right here? That's actually metal and that, that's considered a high spot. I got one here and I got one over here and I, had, and I found some Bondo right here. It looks like somebody tried to fix it in the past. Um, other than that, I mean, this, this hood was like perfect. So what I'm gonna do now after I sanded everything down and I blew everything off and I didn't use my air hose, what I ended up using was my leaf blower. <laughs> so it works better, so I blew all the dust off. But um, this is acetone, okay? So you should do this um, if, if you do do any metal prep. It's just, you wipe it all down and you make sure it's dust free all the way around. Like really make sure there's no dust on this. It's almost like prepping it for a paint job. So um, if you see something that you don't like, you could basically, this, this will take it off. Like if there's any glue or if there's any tape or, or anything like that that you miss sanding, um, this should pick it up and remove it. As you can see, this is a little gray right where the uh, rag is, even though it's a, it's a tan color rag, but it's pulling off the primer that's on here. So the acetone really cleans it up nicely. Um, so I'm just gonna wipe it down. I didn't find any rust. I found a couple little um, rust pinholes, not, not even pinholes, just, just some rust spots. Um, and I sanded really well and they came out. I didn't make sure I didn't go down too deep where it's going to um, leave a low spot. So I wanted to make sure that was taken care of. And I am using a rubber glove using the acetone. But anyway, that being said, make sure you're area is nice and clean and ready for you to um, primer. So I'm going to rotate the car on the other side and get that top part uh, before I do that. And then I'm going to flip it back over. So um, I'm going to spray it. So, all right. And I'm using a rattle can primer in case you're wondering. Uh, that's all I have right now. So hopefully that should be fine. But like I said, the main thing here is to get it clean. Um, right over here, I'll bring the camera before I turn it around. There's a lead uh, where they leaded the A pillar and the roof line. Same thing with over here. This is actually bad because this was uh, cracking through the paint. So what I have to do is heat all that up and remove the lead and then re- um, re-weld uh, it because I want to make sure it's a nice tight uh, area but I'm going to do that later just to make sure that uh, I have enough time before the rain comes tomorrow where it's going to be a high humidity day and I want to make sure that this is uh, nice and dry so like I said any questions comments leave them below you see this right here that is where they put it together the um, A pillar and the roof panel. So that, that right there cracked on me prior to me starting this project. So what I gotta do is make sure I clean all that weld out of there and I'm gonna tack weld it. And then after I tack weld it, I am gonna fill it with uh, all well, all metal, I'm sorry, all metal is called. So if you have a question or comment about that let me know um, a couple people asked me about what I'm going to be using for my a pillar over here and some other odds and ends structural um, like right here where the roof panel meets the quarter panel um, this is just primered right now so I could work on it later uh, what I'm going to end up doing is probably putting another bead of weld in here and then I'm gonna fill it with all metal and float it in. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. This is all ready to be primered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make sure that everything's nice and clean. I'm gonna go over it with my tack cloth, make sure there's no dust. Um, but that being said, this is just to protect the metal 
from flash rusting. Um, there is some body work I need to do up top. There's a little high spot over here, another high spot here. Uh, there's a high spot over here. You can't see the camera can't pick it up, but there is a couple spots that need some work on this hood. No rust, which I'm really happy about. Um, but other than that, let's uh, let's start spraying this up. Okay, be right back. I'm all done putting a primer coat on the GTO. I used uh, four and a half cans of rattle can etching primer right here. Um, and I used a half of, of another one. So again, this is just the preliminary coat just to make sure um, there's no bare metal. Um, so what I'm going to do next is uh, my, my A pillar and my roof, I'm going to make sure that I get that lead out of there like I mentioned and I'm going to spot weld it because it cracked uh, prior to me purchasing the car. You can see the crack in the paint. I do not want that to happen again so I want to make sure that that's taken care of on both actually the driver's side and the passenger side. It was only cracked on the passenger side though. Um, there was a dent over there up high. That being said, um, again, this is just a preliminary coat. So when I start doing the body work on the car, it gets a light skim all over. Obviously it's not gonna be on the rotisserie and that's why I wanted to do it on the rotisserie today. Um, the next couple videos I have coming out are going to be um, putting on the energy suspension that I bought and that is going to be putting on put it on the frame and then dropping it on the the body on the frame and bolting that all up I'm going to make that another video uh, make sure you subscribe to get that alert um, and then I'm going to start installing the doors putting the doors on putting the trunk lid on I'll make a separate video of that and I'll show you the the uh, problems, if any, hopefully I don't have any doing that. Uh, then I'm going to start putting on the fenders. I still have some fender work I got to do, patch panels. But that being said, I'm going to conclude this video. So uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, right now, this looks good. I'm waiting for it to dry. Once it dries, it'll all blend in. Um, but like I said, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.